So I'm starting off with eyebrows first. I love this little sheer tool. I have a, to a spoolie that comes with it and these tweezers. I got all three items from Target and of course the magnifying mirror. So I'm gonna start by brushing my eyebrows up and I'm gonna start tweezing the big hairs that I see and brushing them up and tweezing, repeating that process over and over until I get the shape that I want. and then I'm gonna brush up one more time and then go in with the shears I love these shears because they're so easy to handle they're so precise and like I just ugh. and I don't know where they are right now so I'm gonna have to go back to Target oh darn <laughs> go back to Target and go get some more one for my bag and one for my home because I oh god I love them so much they just make your eyebrows look so sharp especially if you do it carefully So now it's time to shave my legs. I love this razor. I believe I got it off Amazon. Yes, I did. It comes with, I think, 16 heads, like five blades. If you have thick hair like I do and you need a sharp five blade, like a close shave, these are perfect. They last so long. And once they get a little bit dull, maybe like after the third time I use the head, I will, because they're so sharp, I will use them on my hoo-ha area. <laughs> Because I can't use a super sharp razor there. But I'm going to get in the shower. Y'all know I don't give y'all much with a shower. And I'm going to do some skincare. But in the meantime, I'm going to warm up my wax. This is the wax that I use. Um, I believe I got it off Amazon again. And it's so much better than the soft wax or the pink wax that I had. I believe this is soft wax. And the pink, wa the pink one that I had was hard wax. But I'm just going to touch up your dust dash. I am not waxing my mustache. That shit hurts. <laughs> I'm not doing that. But I will use a little flawless razor on my mustache. And just to get the vellus hairs from above my eyebrow. Doing a little bit more touching up with the plucking and quick skincare routine. I'm not really going to get into the skincare routine. Because this is more of like a grooming and maintenance video. So yeah. First things first, cornstarch just to help the wax grip to the hair better. And I've gotten better at the application of the wax, but the pulling part, oof, I can do better with the angles. It's just so awkward. Like this angle is so freaking awkward, but that was a good one. What I will say is it still stings. It does, like this is a very sensitive area but the results are so worth it. Worth the little 15 minutes of pain, okay? But this wax, for some reason, I guess because it's like more flexible and jelly-like, I don't know how to describe it. Ooh, that was good. <laughs> um, it hurts less than the wax before, I can tell you that much. So this next part is not really grooming or maintenance, but it is something that was extremely important and it was definitely time, okay? So I just use dishwashing detergent and get all the old makeup off my brushes. It really helps. I can tell the difference in my skin too. If I'm wearing makeup often and my brushes are not clean, I do break out a little bit more. So I got this little tub from Five Below and I just use warm water and dishwashing detergent to clean all my stuff. So now it's time to do my nails. Y'all, 
I don't know what the heck was going on with the nail situation that day, but I had tried to put these on. You see me sizing them on each finger, taking my time, trying to be organized. I prepped my nails. I did everything that I normally do. And when I went to glue them on, like they would not stick. I tried everything. I tried waiting longer. I tried less glue. I tried um, filing like my nail and the fake nail to make sure like there's like little scratches so the glue can like really get in there and stick. I don't know what was going on. And I was getting so frustrated. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I even tried different tips, y'all. I was like, okay, maybe not these, maybe these girl still wouldn't stick I was so annoyed so I just started completely over and I just prepped my nails for the poly gel nails I'm not sure why I even went a different route knowing how much I like the poly gel and knowing how much they last so whatever girl so I'm just gonna do a poly gel set and they actually came out really freaking cute as they usually do Yes. Oh, it looks so good. Yes, ma'am. That is the end of this video. I hope y'all like the little mini vlogs. And see you next time. I could never write my wrongs unless I write it down for real.